Okay, kids, Mother's Day is coming up. All the cafes and restaurants are closed. So this time you may have to prepare breakfast for mum. Wouldn't that be nice? And preparing breakfast is about being organized. I'm going to show you two things. How to scramble eggs, it seems elementary, but a lot of people stuff it up. And how to poach an egg, which is a tiny bit more complicated. As I said, you have to be organized. And I'm going to show you two accompaniments, but you can vary all that. You can put some spinach, you can put some asparagus. Today I've chosen cherry tomatoes for one dish and mushroom for another. But you can chop and change and put whatever you like together. Here I've got the eggs to scramble and a fry pan which is shiny and clean and non-stick so you can scramble fast. I've got beautiful bread, I've got tomatoes, oil and I've also got some butter which I have worked with my hands to soften it up and I've chopped some chives. Chives are beautiful in breakfast because they're delicate and so we'll be using this butter to scramble the eggs. But first, let's cook the uh, cherry tomatoes. And whilst you do that, you may as well be ready with a toaster or with a grill and toast some bread. So that's for the bread. With these grills, it colors very, very quickly. So a little bit of olive oil, not too much, it's breakfast time. You want to keep things fairly light, yeah? Hear that sound, that sizzle? That's just what you want. Okay, like everything else, you have to season things. So a little bit of salt, not too heavy. Take the bread, still going, good. A crank of black pepper, if you like it. Of course, um, if you like, you can put some uh, bacon with it, or pancetta, or something that Mum may like. Just a quick scald like that, make sure the pan is off, don't burn the oil, throw it in, no problem. There is enough heat in this pan to continue cooking. So bread is getting ready. There you go, it's beginning to get some colour. The tomatoes are ready, now for the eggs. Now I can't stress the importance of good eggs, fresh eggs, free range eggs, See if somebody's got some chooks, some relatives around here in Mildura, people keep their hands in a coop, in the yards. That would be the best, that would be premium. But when you're scrambling an egg, some people add milk. Well, we used to do it when we wanted to stretch the quantity, uh, <laughs> make it cheaper. But now uh, we're not gonna skimp on Mother's Day, are we? Besides, once you introduce cream or milk to scramble eggs, to me, it doesn't taste like eggs anymore. A little pinch of salt, not too much, you can always add it. So, I've got scrambled eggs in there. I've got some butter with chives. Now, a nice, generous amount of butter, because butter is the king of breakfast, if you ask me. In it goes in a pan, and as soon as it begins to sizzle and melt, that's when you can add the eggs safely. In the meantime, the toast is ready. As you can see, you don't even have to let it melt completely because the secret of this is speed and have a spatula with which you can scramble the eggs. So in it goes all at once. Don't waste any time. The butter is still sizzling and you start to scramble it, probably incline the pan a little bit to control it. I hate overcook scrambled eggs. They taste like rubber, but the secret is speed and fluffiness. So you roll it around in the pan like that. You've got to be quick and there it is. It almost resembles a little omelette. There it is, cooked, done and dust it. Now, you serve it up, something like this. Let's pretend we have a nice slice of toasted sourdough bread, which is absolutely delicious. You slide your egg, a nice crank of black pepper. In this instance, for instance, some cherry tomatoes, just for a lovely bit of color and flavor. So here, mom, scramble eggs. As I said, 
Breakfast is about being quick and being organized and have everything ready. For instance, with mushrooms, I love these large mushrooms, local mushroom, I get rid of that stem there. And since I already have a little bit of this uh, gorgeous uh, um, butter with chives, just put that in there, like that, and a little bit of salt, of course. I use unsalted butter, so a bit more salt, a bit of pepper, and you pop this in the oven for five to six minutes and it comes out looking like this. So you'll have a few of this mushroom with beautiful melted butter. I know it looks a bit yucky, but mushroom does change color. There's nothing you can do about it. With poaching eggs, that's when the eggs have to be super fresh. Now, most people would put a little bit of vinegar in the water to make sure that the egg holds together. If it's fresh, it should not need the vinegar. I don't like the taste of vinegar. So now I'm going to take a risk with you and I'm going to try to poach an egg or two without vinegar, just plain water. The best result to try to avoid those stringy bits when you cook the, when you poach an egg is to crack it and place it into a sieve like that. Of course, if the eggs are not fresh, it, it's never going to work you will see that it will drop a little bit of that stuff, that watery content there, which is what usually gives it all those um, stringy bits. So here we go. We've got boiling water here. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And with my spoon, I make it swirl a little bit. There you go. And in we go with the eggs, and we now pray that they hold together as I would like. And there you are, you can see that they're poaching, they are not causing a huge amount of uh, those uh, stringy little bits. Now, you need a slotted spoon and a cloth in your hand. Now, if your mum likes them hard, you let it go. You can see when they're hard, but my preference is to have runny eggs. And let's play with one here. Let's have a look. In this case, it's quite undercooked. That's the way I like it, but you can cook it another half a minute or so, and uh, it'll um, harden somewhat. Here we have a plate. Place the egg on the... Look at that, it looks beautiful. Put the mushroom, which is nice and warm. Put some tomatoes, yeah, because we need a little bit of color there it could be beautiful asparagus could be some spinach which you just simply drop in the pan with a little bit of the same butter a little crank of pepper if you like it a little bit of salt oh you say you do you're working for mum so make it pretty put a couple of chives there old-fashioned way just to remind mum the chives are in the mushroom and there it is. Scramble eggs or poach eggs. Be nice to mom on Mother's Day and cook her breakfast. See you next time.